Yamcha Sessions. Today we figured out our sound solution, so let us know if this is better. Yeah. Check out Instagram, you can see what we did. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. fucked up. It better be better, man. <laughs> <laughs> budget, budget. Anyway, uh, I'm Jonathan Ng. Uh, I do events and I do part time YouTube. Link is in the description below. Anyways, my name is Sarah Wanan. I work as an MC and fitness coach. Link is in the description below. I'm Andrew, I work in e commerce somewhere below as well. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kim. I work for a frozen food company and I also do copy on the side. But there's no link in the description below. Yeah. No links. We might want to put that in. Next one day, one, one day there will be a link. Yeah. One day. When she's confident. It's not very hard to find. Oh, yeah, just search Kimber the Lee. In <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, okay. okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's All go. right. So All this right. week, what are we discussing? Andrew, hit us with what we're discussing this week. Okay. So this week, we are discussing whether the Malaysian government has power to control censorship on Netflix. Basically, don't censor our shit on Netflix because we already censored our porn. Yeah. So that's that. It's true. Fuck you all, man. It's true, and I know you know it, but. Uh, there's an MP who's, uh, I mean, she's, her name is Datin Mastura Muhammad Yazid, or whatever that means to you. She claims that she has concerns over sex scenes and LGBT elements. So that's her primary concern, not sex scenes and LGBT elements. I have concerns with what she's saying. I have concerns with her concerns. I have concerns with her concerns. <laughs> tell Drew, you tell this Datin, yeah, stay I'll... at home <laughs> and, and I... open her TV3. And watch her damn case up now, okay? Case up <laughs> oh, whatever that they are watching in TV3, stay that way. Easy, bro. What's up now? Okay? Don't, worry. Don't come <laughs> and disturb our our entertainment, man. Yeah, bro. First they take our pawn. <laughs> then they want to take Netflix. No, first they take Tumblr. What? John? What? Huh? John? What kind of pawn you? There's a lot of shit on Tumblr, man. Right? Yeah, dude. T Tumblr was pretty good. Took away Tumblr and then it uh, first spawned, then Tumblr, then. Then now Netflix, yeah. motherfucker! I tell you this woman. So there are a lot of netizens on like Facebook and forums and such who are very opposed to her ideas, most likely because the people who are online are younger, more yeah. progressive people, right? Yes, yeah. as as her. I think we just change that, that thing. We don't need her. No? Mm. Yeah, we should. Ouch. Yeah, we yeah. should. Yeah. But I, I think it stems to the country being an Islamic country. In the first shit. Place. Looks like everything is just coming back to the country. I think this is just her. Probably she haven't had sex for a long time. She's like, oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, so you hot? went there. You went there. It's so hot! I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that's necessary. Um, I think it's unfortunate um, that there. I mean, okay, it's not unfortunate. I guess there are some people who are more conservative and liberal, right? Um, I, I'm guessing all of us we really enjoyed Netflix. Even like before we recorded this podcast, I was watching Netflix. Um, yeah, so Netflix is a huge part of like people in our generation and actually if you look at Netflix as a like platform, you can opt to buy the more censored version which is the more like localized one. No so way. if you pay for the US one, you get the US stuff. It's no, 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 you can't do There that. are some that this like... This is very Wait, 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 hold up. So why have... I not known about this because no, I want my pay, office bro. Like, let's say you pay, like the US, like you you let's say you have a card or, or a bank that is linked to the US. the US, then you can get the US one. No, it's you not can like access that. It's not like that. Okay, so this is what happens with Netflix, right? Because I just recently went to the States and I went to uh, Europe as well to watch. Mm. Alright, so what happens is your Netflix will go accustomed to the country you are in. So if you're in Malaysia, right? Mm -hmm. No matter what account. Okay, you have a Malaysian, you, you, you are Malaysian and you open an account in Malaysia, Netflix, you go to US, automatically, region, it will detect, location, and then it will give you all the content. Then get a VPN. Yeah, you could. Just you could. go on VPN, like access yeah. it via your But you, you can't do it on your phone though. Oh yeah. Oh, it's too much hassle. Uh, Just don't touch Netflix. No, yeah. You want to censor, you censor your TV3, TV2 and TV1. Yeah, you censor you even know? more, la, you know. Just pakai more stuff. Right, you know? yeah, pakai I guess. More, more kain, you know. Kain, kain kang uh. diri, you know. Or when you see a sex scene, just okay to cut channel. Yeah. <laughs> now maybe it's also because I think it's, it's awkward for her. Because when she watched with her liberal daughter, she's like, Hey, you need tumble, you know? I mean, it's, it's, not even about, of me. it's not even about like violence right. or, right? Like, like uh, I don't know, drug abuse or, you know, it's things that are actually detrimental to people. It's literally just 
sex scenes. And it's a bo- it's it's complete opposite because you know all that like like what you mentioned like drugs and all that causes death, but sex causes life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite ironic, really. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like it's, it's sex scenes and like the whole LGBT movement, like, bro. I think she, in the article, I don't know. You might want to look through it. She's yeah. also supported by other ministers as well, so it's not just her. Well, I mean, we're all products of our time, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. So I'm sure the ministers around her are around Probably her age, age yeah. around her mentality. Hence, and we are also. You could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Maybe we should have a conservative person that's our age here to discuss this. Yeah. Maybe. Hence that. That person, he or she, would be able to vouch for. Well, maybe okay. Um, in terms of censorship, like looking at it from a very like conservative point of view, um, I'm not conservative, but like I'm pretty sure that we live around people who are. So I guess in their perspective, there is like I think we've talked that about this comfort. previously. It's yeah, comfort and also like taboo. What is taboo to you? What holds value to you may not hold value to other people, or yeah. because of their lack of exposure or. Um, being able to accept that this is a part of life i'm not dissing them please don't get me wrong um it's just the way they it's are. just that it's just their experiences are very different from ours yep. um so as a result of not being exposed to this kind of culture like we've been to the us right we've We've interacted with people and how they've talked to. But he's been. <laughs> but he's been abroad. But he's been, been Japan. abroad. Yeah, right. So you've been abroad and you've interacted with enough people to kind of understand that, like, and accept that you know, lots of things are part of life, and it's just how you choose to deal with it, right? But it's not even about just like yeah. about going abroad. I'm sure a, a person of her stature has been abroad. It's, True. it's how receptive you are Correct. to like, different but, cultures and different experiences. But I mean, it's also, it also kind of comes back down to how we communicate and talk about these, about these topics, right? Um, because of the nature of these topics being so taboo, um, we don't educate our kids and teach them that, okay, like, why is this bad? Why, what, like, what kind of consequences will come? if they engage in like drugs or violence so consequences they don't talk about that right it's just like prevention is always better than cure which is not wrong um but not for all cases but having to impose my values on you because i'm not comfortable with it it's not not right it's it's not not nice nice. it's it infringes on a human like basic a human's basic i don't know if i'm jumping to conclusions but it feels like inclusion it feels like this is um like in her uh, from her perspective she's trying to enlighten other people Mm -hmm. right so she feels very strongly in the way that she does Mm -hmm. and she doesn't view what she's doing as like imposing my beliefs onto you Mm -hmm. it's more so this notion of i need to teach you and show you what the right way is right so so she's coming from a place from a different place she's coming from her understanding yeah i'm I'm here to teach you what the right way of life is so she's not yeah she doesn't view that she doesn't view it as like i'm going to impose my beliefs onto you I see. By I never thought of that actually. Yeah. But by sense. No, no. You, you gotta hear what Andrew's saying. Andrew, I think he's got. You got a point. It's like she thinks that she's actually trying to do a good favor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, no, she she genuinely doesn't feel what that what she's doing is wrong. It's like Maybe. when it's like when the the British invaded us, right? They wanted to enlighten us. Mm. They came from a from from a point of view where you guys are inferior in a very genuine level, yeah. and I'm here to teach you how to be more human. How to be more modern? How to be more right. civilized? More like and I think that's resources. where she's coming from too. Well, but isn't the isn't? I think I've, I I read this quote somewhere like freedom is be, choosing not to do something even though you have the opportunity to do it. Morgan Freeman. Was that Morgan? Freeman? I, don't I don't think it's Morgan Freeman. Oh Freeman. <laughs> 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 but you mentioned. Wait, 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 you know, we watch this, we, like, four of us, we watch Netflix, right? We watch all these violent sex and all these things, but that doesn't mean that we engage in it, right? I or mean, even I, I'm not saying I, I, I mean, we all, I'm pretty I sure. mean, I mean, uh, okay. Got it right. on freaking. Not, <laughs> right, right. Not to the extent, extent, you know? Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. We don't, we're not, um, <laughs> we're not disrespectful when we are in, like, let's say, uh, if we're, if, like, road rage, that's a, another form of violence, right? We are in it, we are engaged in it, but we're not hurting other people and we're not, we're not, um, I suppose it's, it's, it's directly affecting, affecting someone else. It's, I think it's also like, 
I think it's part and parcel also intent alongside your 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 both your points. Yeah. You know, like I, I don't think there is an evil intention mm-hmm. with but. with sexual scenes. There's no evil intention with it. I, I I don't understand how you could view a sexual scene in a movie slash T V series and relate it to a negative intention towards people. Maybe you could be thinking, hey, maybe you educate kids too early, for example. But at the same time, Netflix does have that kids version, which is yeah. also up to the parents to monitor. Right. So I think her doing this, I don't think she's actually fully thought out. And I think it's also part and parcel your your point, where she believes that she's actually trying to convey that I'm trying to tell you to do the right thing. But actually, she's just not being able to empathize with what other people have gone through. Also, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's only part of the reason. Mm-hmm. But I guess like, um, you know, we are thinking of like sex scenes as like. A very like let's let's imagine like a very basic sex scene between two consenting like Adults. people in, mm-hmm. in 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 Netflix right okay. watching that and so like we think that there's nothing wrong with it because it's two consenting adults and everything is fine right but maybe from this MP's point of view is that hey if there's a rape scene what if there right. is like a, a group of people who will adopt that behavior true whether consciously or subconsciously true. And so that's where her concern She's trying to cover all bases. Probably. Yeah. She's probably thinking on like a statistical level. If a million people watch this rape scene, maybe one or two of them will be rapists, whether consciously or subconsciously. And she's nitpicking up. Because technically, if you wanted to be like this in every form and every way, right? Just be a communist country, la. Oh, true, 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 right. It's very slow, yeah. right? South Korea. Yeah. She's, she's nitpicking. Korea. She's nitpicking on the sexual part. Because there are a lot of many things that you could need to take on. It's not only Netflix, but other sources too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right it's just right like well, YouTube, you know, I don't, Facebook. I don't think censoring Netflix or cens- censorship uh, will prevent these things from happening because even if they, even if like there's there's no sex scenes, there will still be rapists. I'm pretty sure in a 100%. communist country there are rapists. 100%. It's just not reported. People don't talk about it because once again it's taboo. So I don't think that like in this kind of scenario, prevention is better than cure. Um, instead of like this, like, I think we've talked about this in the last one of the last few episodes. We talked about like education right um about giving people the experiences of what and responsibilities that will help them Mm. understand why it's so important that they don't engage in these activities so i think there's so many better ways to deal with it than to than to deal with than to ask a country to censor i I think if you when you censor it it involves more mystery and you right. need to search for that and pro- shit. Pro- you provoke. Yeah, you, you provoke, provoke even then you, more. you make them mm-hmm. want to know why you censored. Because when I watched Titanic, they censored uh, her body. I wanted to know what was behind the censor. <laughs> God damn, right. this guy is really down to the deep. You know, don't lie to me. All of you guys right there searched. Kate and said, New. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, <laughs> Mrs. Kin <Kinlock. laughs> <laughs> so, so if you do that, I mean, yeah, you got a good point, but you just evoke for people to right. go to it more. But it's in Netflix got like PG thirteen and eighteen access before right. Netflix. Right. So I think that's an. Indica- it is in the indicator. There, it everyone. is indicated. Yeah. So if you're uncomfortable, then you almost see eighteen and say, "Oh, nita halani." Kala, I mean. It's true though. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, that's you, a valid point. Yeah, it's true. I remember when I was much younger and I watched the James Bond sex scene, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And when, when I, I, was, I think I was like seven or six or some shit like that, right? And I was watching my dad and my mom, and I was just, I was like, I was in this whole rebellious stage where I'm like, why the fuck do you take away my fucking cartoons? <laughs> fucking assholes, you know? Oh. These cruel human beings right. taking away from children. Yeah. Right? And then I was like, Dad, how do I watch anything on TV right now? Because everything is like 18 mm. FX. And he's like, just close your eyes. Huh? <laughs> right? So you basically don't watch. Yeah, then I'm like, hey, fuck you, I don't watch. Lah. You know what I mean? So I think it's also because like, it's in a way him trying to police what I watch. He's like, right. it's not real one. It's not a James Bond fake one. Lah. When you right. tell me all this right there, I'm like, do you at least let me have the shock feeling that maybe one day I'll be a British spy, la. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I mean? So it's him policing it. I think if it's 18SX, 18 whatever or so. Like if you watch Logan, right, you know a fella doesn't have fucking can come across at his own will and start killing people and has like a little girl really that kills people. So, I mean you kinda of fucking know, right? I know, and man. If, if kids don't know, then it's your job as an adult to either say, hey, you better not watch this uh, when I'm not around, or I watch it with you and I tell you actually bro, it's not real. Yeah. yeah. I mean like what's common sense to us is not common sense to other people. Right. Like yeah. just the other day we were sharing an article about someone who killed his girlfriend because he wants to get the monkey go sharing gun. <laughs> No, 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 I saw that shit. Ah, that needs to be another topic later, man. I'm telling you. No, I mean, right, what, I'm, what I'm trying to say is like, like what seems so blatantly obvious to you can be very, very convenient. I think that's a fake one. I mean, yeah, but that's like, it, my, my point comes across, right? There, there are other more clear examples, but like, right? The girlfriend. Yeah. What's, what's red to me is it could be blue to you. Maybe just like, hence the guidance of the parent is also yeah, very uh, Did he get his hundred after that? <laughs> I don't know. I, mean, I thought you were supposed to kill your best friend, maybe, right? Maybe he oh, has his closest person. Closest person. Maybe he has his friend, then we just don't know. We just don't know. Jutsu, but, oh, that's right, bro. We never know. Okay, you so this. Oh, shit. But I, I need to meet that guy. I don't know. He's, he's a black dude. But anyway, back back yeah. to the. Okay. the so, if let's say uh -huh. she does. In fact, because she's a minister, she has the power, not us. We're just the little people of Yamcha session. <sighs> <laughs> hey, if you're watching. <laughs> We hope you get this message back. across. Can you share this video and then back her? Yeah. It's <laughs> yes. not necessary. So wait, 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 hold on. So, so let, 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 me, let me get down to the whole okay. conclusion of all this. this. Let's say in the fact she does censor Netflix scenes. I mean, Astro is only half censored. Uh. Let's put it this way. Yeah. Even Deadpool is censored. You know that whole, like... Yeah. You know the sex but, scene? Did yeah. you watch the uncensored version? Bro. That's what I'm saying, you know? You, you, you may censor it, but yeah. you will find it. So what happens if she does censor Netflix? What do you guys think? What, what do you think uh, a Malaysian could do? I think if you have an entrepreneurial spirit, you should start a VPN business. Yeah. It's probably going to do very well. Yeah. She, I think bro. so too. You should have said that. You should have said that. that fucking idea. Cut, 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 cut. Delete, edit, edit. It's a booming business. Uh, uh, did I, you know iFlix? Yeah. Just did a massive lay, like, lay, like, lay, let, let people go. Yeah. yeah. So many people go. And like, I don't know whether I'm supposed to share this on video because like, I fuck it, I don't even know if this anyway. <laughs> so this marketing lady that let go from iFlix, she had a whole marketing plan, right? so let her go, right? She takes this whole marketing and goes to fucking Netflix Singapore. Blast out, dude! Because that's the head office, hence now all the billboards are all her ideas. The agency I know works with them. So. Uh, that one Thai say lah. Oh one. man. And also actually I feel that, you know, I'm going back to the topic, right? You know, with all this censorship, with all these restrictions from ministers, right? It also limits a Malaysian's creativity in being able to create more things, more platforms, yeah, more more stuff like that. Because people are always like, ah, do I tell do something? You take it away from me. Right. Remember last last time before Netflix, we had something like the iFlix thing. Yeah. And then it's a complete rip off of Netflix. Yeah. It's literally F L I X. You're copying. You're copying blatantly from Netflix. Right. Yeah. And the moment Netflix steps into the market, they go, "Hey, we want to do this." I think by doing this, you're telling Netflix to say, "Hey, you kind of need to restrict yourself." And I think this is going to prevent Netflix from expanding it's more shows. Malaysia. And hence, like we, you, you can see the after effects of of Malaysia, and the world. If you compare Malaysia with a lot of the other Asian countries like Korea, Japan, Singapore, people always highlight them because of their available if of their, what, what what's that word? openness to, to these things. Like, if you go to Japan and then you have Netflix there, I'm pretty sure there are sex scenes, mm -hmm. but they have like restrictions and stuff like that. Korea as well, Singapore as well. Mm -hmm. They're not opposed to it, but you see they have that acceptance, whereas Malaysia doesn't have that. And I think because of ministers and such, they always say, hey, I don't want no sex scene, oh no this, no that, no this, no that. I think in the end people go, hey, you know, fuck you lah. You communist country lah, okay? Go fuck <laughs> yourself. Then nothing, you know, we're all basically living with sticks and shit lah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, Eventually. Think, definitely. I think there are a lot of social re social repercussions that she's not taking into account. Yeah. Like for the fact that, um, you know, like the growing population, uh, at least a urban growing population, we're more progressive. Mm -hmm. And if you give us one more reason to move out of the country, brain drain, we are, we are literally going to do it. Yeah. And I, I think statistically that's going to happen, right? We already have a lot of reasons to, to, to go and if you give us one more, that's going to be the tipping point for a lot of people. But I, I, I actually legit think they want to do that. Maybe that's the entire like master plan. Maybe, maybe. 
they think that we are like pollutants of the country. Well, but please, like, do remember this. Um, we just switched governments. She is part of the new government, am I right? Oh, uh, no, I think she's BN. Oh, uh, yeah, she's BN. She's BN. Uh, it's been oh, thank God. Thank God. It's been so <laughs> what a dumbass. Well, then, I mean, then, in that sense, like, hopefully she doesn't have yeah. that much power because. Yeah. Based on my my observations, like generally, um, our, our current government is a much more progressive one, albeit slow. But you know, it, it takes time, right? Um, so baby steps. Baby steps. So in her case, um, you know, I wouldn't listen to her. I wouldn't be too concerned about her what she has to say. Um, but hopefully, um, I mean, I'm not discounting what she like her concerns. I just think that her solution to dealing with this is not the best. Mm. Um, be but tough. I think um, also coming back to this topic, I think it's very important that I do want to highlight about the LGBT thing. It's kind of the same thing with the Women's March that happened oh, recently. Mm. Um, people were so concerned that there were protesters who were fighting for LGBT rights, but they were not even a handful. They weren't even that big part like the main the main objective of that march was about women and as a whole and somehow people just wanted to find something small like the lgbt issue to to bring up which i find to be very insensitive um because lgbt rights are still human rights they are not harming anybody they just want to love somebody that they love and that's it right it's like N robbing them of this is like robbing yourself of your own child somebody that you love so much or your husband or your spouse for that matter right um i think kind of get kind of goes back to the roots of how people are afraid of <coughs> the unknown of things that they don't yeah, understand 100%. and they don't try to understand and i think that's the biggest problem is we're not empathetic, we're not compassionate, we don't care about this person <coughs> as a human being. We're more concerned about, oh, it's gonna affect me, it's gonna affect me. When it, it won't, if you, if you just embrace it and say like, hey, you know, I accept you as who you are, that's it. I, 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 think, I think we've discussed something like this before about how a country is governed in a sense. It's like, the Shaikh Siddiq one. Yeah, I, it, it, it's part and parcel like, I'm not, there's nothing wrong with LGBTQ yeah. amongst the Chinese and Indians, you see. Generally. No, there's nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. If we are gay or lesbian or trans, there's nothing wrong. But it's a problem when it's in Malay. Because in the, mm, the Quran, the Quran yeah. doesn't allow yeah. it. So how can they... I think, I'm not saying they, they, they should or they would or whatever, but if they do do it, right, I think it would cause a lot of... Uh, Actually, I need to correct you. Um, mm. I don't think that between the Malays, I mean between the Indians and the Chinese, it's like not wrong because I do have friends whose family have shunned them because oh, it shit. goes against their religion. religious you did? beliefs. For sure. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. I actually, I actually don't think from um, at least her perspective or like um, the, the Islamic perspective that they don't empathize with you mm -hmm. or they don't empathize with the LGBTQ community. They actually probably think that, again, we are trying to show you the right way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We are trying to to teach you not to do or not to live life the incorrect way. At the yeah. same time, um, I noticed that there's very. It's very like they pick and choose their battles, right? Um, there are also other things that they are not supposed to do, but they still do. One For thing sure. is smoking. That's like the biggest, most obvious, like slap in the face. That's right there. You're not supposed to smoke if you're if you're Muslim or Christian. You're not supposed to have. You're not supposed to dye your hair. You're not supposed to do tattoos. But, but they this, don't. They need pick. But there are yeah, yeah. there are like they pick and choose their fights. I had a colleague uh, from a an ex colleague from uh, the previous company I worked for, who was trans, uh, born male, transitioning into female, but kind of stuck in the middle because too scared to do surgery and number two, has a lot of hate from everybody and this one time i was really pissed off um we were at lunch because i'm a i'm a huge like advocate for like i'm an i'm a you know i i don't think that this is harming anybody so i would support you in any in any of this um so this person's trans i was i call her she 
and um, still dresses in like men yeah. clothes because has to because on paper it's still male um, and one day we were going out for lunch and we were surrounded by three other like colleagues of ours and all three of them uh, among the three of them two of them are really religious very very religious like really really good kids Next level. Um, they pray before they eat they don't smoke they don't drink you know sure. all that kind of stuff which is fine another one drinks smokes and the three of them were picking on her and saying like this is not right this is not what you're supposed to do you're not supposed to be a man you bought yeah you're not supposed to be a woman you're born a man right it's very typical right but they do other things that are not great yep. so you can't do this if you want to lead someone in that right direction you have to show by good example and also kind of deal with the more bigger ones the more bigger pictures like hey smokers i know our, our current government has been like really helpful in that sense that where they've banned the smoking and the like, created smoking her. areas um at the same time um there are still a lot of people who smoke and and it's not it's yeah. not really they're not really abiding to these rules so as as a family member who has family members like that it's very important to like have these conversations, deal with these issues, then come and talk about LGBT problems, about censorship. Because I think these, if you can't even tackle these small problems that are so rampant, what more like... It doesn't even give you that that that, that foundation of being able to say something like that. Yeah. Because it, you're, you're, you're being a hypocrite. Right, mm -hmm. exactly. So I think that's, that's also why a lot of us are very angry and when we hear about news like this, that's why I would be upset. Um, you're stealing my rights when you you yourself are not living by the example that you want us to follow. Yeah. So. But that that that's every religion, though. I feel, o honest in all honesty. Like right, that's with, human beings, right? With Islam, with Christians, yeah, with that, Buddhism, with Taoism, with Hinduism. Which, which is Buddhism. why it's very important to have this kind of dialogue and communication with people who want to make a big deal out of it. I understand that uh, we may differ in how we want things done um, but if you're only just talk nitpicking and being a hypocrite then and refusing to talk about it then what what what's what's this, who's this gonna help it's not gonna help anybody I mean to, to play devil's advocate um, your your essential argument is that you cannot um, nitpick and say that LGBT rights are wrong when you like are smoking or are drinking alcohol right and so like it's you're being a hypocrite in that sense um it's more of like you're being a hypocrite because you you think that you're trying to guide us in the right way right but you yourself are not correct you're not completely right. holy yeah. yeah right right yeah so to play devil's advocate it is actually a fallacy to say that their argument is invalid because they don't have the proper authority to assert that argument so for example just because um, I murdered someone mm -hmm. and I witness John murder someone mm -hmm. and I accuse him of murder, it doesn't mean that my argument is wrong. He's still right. Mm -hmm. My statement is still valid. Mm -hmm. it's just, it's, it's yes, it right. is an, it's, it's actually an ad hominem fallacy for, for you to say that my statement is invalid because just because I'm a murderer. Right. Does mean I mean, yeah. You right. can tell me that right. you can, yeah, you can my, my statement you cannot accuse me. My yeah. Just because I'm a murderer. So that's that's actually a fallacy. Right. If is it I mean it's it be your basic thing is a yes and a no. It's a good it's it's a good and a bad thing as well because if let's say right, I mean no human being is completely born hundred percent pure, right? Of course. Right. So you, you can't exactly start I mean you gotta start somewhere with with, with moving and to them, Andrew's point is they're starting off with the gay thing, like, mm -hmm, yeah. so honestly speaking. Right. They're just starting with that. Like, but let's say, let's say, I'm not saying it's going to happen, all right, or I, mean, I don't want it to happen, or I don't want it to happen, but let's say they do oppress LGBTQ rights and stuff, and then they'll probably move on to the next one. Lah. And then they'll just oppress, 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 to the point that people have completely, like, no freedom. That's, I think they are, that's what they want to do, right? That people, people who have power just want more power, to right. assert their power over you. That's it. Right. But like they use religion as an excuse, uh. Yeah. Right. So like, and like a, a Malay person could be um, 
drinking a bottle of beer and while shitting on LGBT rights. But so, you, but you, my, my point is you cannot say to him that, yo, you can't shit on LGBT rights because you're drinking that bottle of beer. That's, th that's not how the arguments work. Right, you're mm -hmm. supposed to disprove his argument, but you're making a fallacy. That's, that's right. yeah. it's a different argument, yeah. basically. Yeah, They're two separate it's things. A separate yeah. Things. So I think they just don't respect LGBTQ. It's because they they're trying to assert their whole Islamic thing upon you. I mean, they're basically trying to impose their their beliefs. Yeah, they're, they're, their beliefs. Nah, they're trying to instill their beliefs on you. That's, that, that's it, and it's because it stems stop. back. I mean, stop imposing. Oh, oh. <laughs> stop. It, it all stems back to the whole. This country is a an Islamic. You go to the US, it's a Christian country. Mm. Hence, they are also very against the others, like, oh, you know, fuck the Jews, or, oh, you know, fuck all, uh, fuck the Islams, and yeah. it's like that, right? It, it is what it is, right? But our, con but what Andrew says is right. The more you <laughs> oppress your part, your, your, the people, whether it be Chinese, Malay, Indian, or Sawasara, or whatever, the more, like, people will want to leave. Because Can't eventually, they will be like, dude, I thought we were supposed to be chill, man. We're supposed to respect each other. It's in the fucking Marker Kami. What's that called? Rukun Gunagara. Rukun Gunagara, bro. Yeah. Marker. Yeah. 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 There's Kuba Chang, but that's your own Tuhan, right? So, right. How, who are you to? They're basically contradicting themselves, so. I mean, but that's what it is, lah. Human beings yeah. will always be human beings. They always forget. They're like, no. That's what it is, lah. Like do you think in the end they will censor Netflix? I don't think so. I don't think. I think Netflix will say, you do it, then you pull out, lah. Yeah, then you fuck off. Yeah, then we also pull out all the others. Yeah. And I think Hulu and the rest will follow suit because they'll be like, oh shit, son, this is yeah. bad shit. Yeah. And then people will, will rebel. Yeah. yeah, Netflix is actually a very, very progressive company and they're very um, open about it. They're very vocal about it on social media, on like official statements. Yeah. So I, I, I'm very sure they will stand their ground. Yeah. Don't touch that shit, man. Because if they say, oh, we are, up against, if let's say Malaysia makes a statement that says that we're against LGBT, and we are against uh, sexual scenes and we are against violence. Bro, Netflix will be like, we apologize for any whatever, whatever, yeah, and we'll, we will not, we will no longer be whatever, whatever. And then Malaysians will be uproar and then riot and then make the team. Yeah. Oh, Choy, oh, 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 maybe not lah. Maybe the wood, maybe, maybe, maybe we just take a VPN lah. Uh, yeah. VPN business, boys. VPN business. I'm also still waiting okay, for that. Okay, maybe we can start a VPN business. Right? None, none of us would. Hey, and then that. I can access the US channel. Uh, like the, the US video. All the fucking porn on Okay, no, no. <laughs> There's a show that I've been wanting to watch. I've been waiting for it forever. It's the Office. No. There's no, there's the no, office. There's no The Office. That's the thing. In Netflix now, there's no Office, bro. What the fuck is that shit? criminal, man. Uh, but yeah, so I think that's that's pretty much it, right? Yeah. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, and, and subscribe. Uh, and tell us actually, what what do you yeah. think? Tell us what you think, off. Yeah, just let it know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if you are with progressive people, you put hail Yamcha. If you put, if you are supporting BN, hail BN. <laughs> Hashtag hail BN or hashtag hail Yamcha. You wouldn't be watching this if you're hail BN, I think. Yeah, probably. Well, man, motherfucker.